buying Lionel Alcos at train shows as long as I can keep finding them for only $10. This is an Amtrak dummy unit from the 1970s that's still in pretty good shape. It's really only deficient in two areas. The roof paint, which has just minor paint damage, and the stamped metal frame, which is having issues with a bit of rust. Both of which can be easily fixed with some sanding and a careful application of Rust-Oleum spray paint in their satin Canyon Black. You can go back to almost any of my train videos and watch me wet sand these areas with 400 grit sandpaper. By now you also know that I'm a fan of Tamiya masking tape. Combine those two steps with several light coats of satin black spray paint and you can make any roof or frame look nearly new again. <laughs> The frame sat in a vinegar bath overnight, and by the next morning, all the surface rust, as well as the bluing, were removed from the metal. A little more sanding, and then it was ready and also sprayed in satin canyon black. I forgot to mention it earlier, but while I was at it with the spray paint, I also redid the rear coupler. And now everything goes together oh so nicely. I started playing with trains in the 1970s, and what rail line better represents that decade than Amtrak? And when I think of iconic locomotives, what better represents diesels than an F3A unit from Lionel? This is a die cast frame, so it didn't have any issues with rust but it still benefited from sanding, followed by the new coat of black paint. There was a lot of masking involved, but it was completely worth it. The side frames, front apron, and coupler all look fresh and new once again. But because of the tape, there's no overspray on the wheels or the axles, so it retains a factory appearance, which is what I was shooting for. And I like it a lot. Glossy finishes were used on the body, but I applied satin black to the roof when I repainted a Williams F7 diesel in a fantasy paint scheme inspired by Philip K. Dix, The Man in the High Castle. Mm -hmm. 
at this point, for any future projects, I'm pretty sure that all of my locomotives with a black roof will be done in a satin finish rather than a glossy black. Not only is Rust-Oleum's Satin Canyon Black a dynamite color for any diesel's roof, it can also transform a cheap plastic steam locomotive into one that looks more like painted die cast. established that Satin Canyon Black is the new go-to color for locomotives, but it's versatile enough to also look great on passenger cars, or more accurately in this case, a motorized interurban unit that happens to look a lot like a passenger car. looking roof. It's not perfect, but it's definitely an improvement. Will it affect the collectability or value of the train? Probably, but like most of the trains I've shared here, they were cheap to begin with. So who knows, maybe I actually increased their value. <laughs> If you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe. Thanks for watching, and until next time, this has been Bob's Workshop. Take care. Bye.